When Chopin was created as a brand, it was in the beginning of 90s, it was revolutionary. It changed the industry. Nobody has made a luxury vodka at that time. A vodka cannot be luxury. Why not? It was the first luxury vodka in the world, and that's what makes it fascinating. Chopin Vodka is the product which is not invented in a marketing agency in New York or Los Angeles. It was a local idea. Everything was made here by the local people. Pracuję w Siedleckim Polmosie od 1978 roku. To jest moja pierwsza praca po ukończeniu studiów na Wydziale Chemii Uniwersytetu Marii Curie Skłodowskiej w Lublinie. Nasza firma istnieje już od ponad 100 lat, natomiast robiąc dobrą wódkę nie mieliśmy dobrej marki, więc zaczęliśmy poszukiwać i w trakcie tych poszukiwań narodził się pomysł utworzenia nowej wódki, która nazywa się Wódką Chopin. The definition of vodka, in my opinion, is wrong. It's, it's supposed to be colorless, tasteless, odorless. None of that is true. We started to make single ingredients vodka. And what does it mean, single ingredient vodka? That we make it out of one raw material. We make vodka out of potato, we make vodka out of rye, we make vodka out of wheat, but we don't mix those products to pay attention to the different tastes that those ingredients have. We don't make flavored vodkas. Uh, why don't we don't do it? Because I believe that artificial flavoring, I think, in my opinion, has no place in a, in, in a good vodka. Chopin potato is earthy, creamy, it's full-bodied, it's viscous. It's a wonderful vodka to drink by its own or put it in a martini. Chopin rye is spicy, vibrant. It has this peppery flavored profile. It's a short, crisp finish. It's wonderful for putting in Bloody Marys, put it in the cocktails. If you like that spiciness, you can drink it on its own. Chopin wheat is light, is sweet, is gentle. It has a floral aroma or profile to it. It's very mild. For me, it's almost like a summery vodka. Most of the vodka producers don't make their own vodka. They don't distill it, they bottle it. We make everything ourselves, it's, it's stayed in-house. We do it for a reason, because that way we can control the quality of the product from the beginning till it's in the bottle. We are a family business. Many members of the family are involved, my daughter and nephews and others. It brings the family together, but also it brings the passion into the product. We make the vodka by starting in the field, by growing the ingredients that we make the vodka from. We have a wonderful relationship with the farmers. Many of them grow potatoes from generation to generation. So we buy the potatoes or we grow the potatoes and then we wash the potatoes and then we cook it. We don't peel it. The whole potato gets cooked. Once it is cooked, we add some yeast and we let it sit for three days. In three days, we produce 8% of the alcohol. Then we have to separate it from the rest. And that's what is done in the old-fashioned copper distillation column which we are using. What we get in the end is this very wonderful, pure ingredients for making, in this example, potato vodka. People always say that vodkas are all the same because I think if we don't understand the product, it's like saying that all of the red wines are the same. No, obviously everybody knows it's not true. Konkurenci mówią, że najlepsza wódka to jest wódka schłodzona i w drynku. Produkujemy wyrób wysokiej jakości, ale oczyszczamy go tak, żeby pozostawić nutki z surowca. Vodkas are not the same. Every vodka has a different characteristic. It was made in a different region, it was made by a different people, it was made out of different ingredients. General knowledge is like, what is to talk about? There's nothing to talk about. It's supposed to be a mixer. It's not a sipping product, at least in the public's mind. In my opinion, it is. I want to try the differences. Is the vodka from potato different than vodka from rye? Is the vodka from rye different from a vodka from wheat? Then we can develop our own taste. The vodka is, is a product of Poland. It's, it is from here, from this region. My goal is to tell the story of vodka in a slightly different way, so we don't say vodka is vodka. We try to stay traditional. We make what we make the good way, the original way, based on the family values.